Okay, I'm going to give you a very simple example of how to understand or begin analyzing the relationship between two numeric variables using a scatter plot with a trend line. So what do I mean by relationship? I mean as, uh, first of all, let's take a look at the data and that will help you understand. Here it is right here, the bike buyers formatted data. If you're watching this video from YouTube, just check the description in the video link. You'll probably find a link to the data set there if you want to follow along. But here we have it. I'm on the original tab here. Uh, this is a list of customers who come into a bike store, whether or not they purchase the bike, and any details we're able to gather about them as they came in through, I guess, a survey or something like that. And we use scatter plots specifically for two numeric variables. So let's pick a couple. How about income and age? That's a classic. So what do I mean when I use the term relationship? What I'm referring to here is understanding whether as one variable, let's say age, increases, does the other variable also increase, decrease, or not change at all. So when the term relationship is referring both to the direction of change in one variable and as well as the strength of that change. So let me show you here what I mean. Let's go ahead and grab uh, the data here. If you're on a PC, click on income um, and hit control shift down. If you're on a map, command shift down. And then let's go here to age. I'm just going to click and drag, scroll back up. Since these two variables aren't contiguous or next to each other, you can't use that control or command shift up again. So anyway, with those selected, let's hit insert, uh, grab scatter plot here, this one. And here's our chart. So it's showing level of education here on the x-axis and age here on what we call the y-axis. So the strength of this relationship is represented by how close together all of these dots are. When they're close together, then that means there's a stronger relationship. And in a minute, you'll learn about correlation and what that means. But we'll hold off on that for now. What I want you to focus on in this video is the direction of the relationship, meaning is there a general trend as we move along the x-axis, do the dots move up or down along the y-axis? So imagine if we were to take a line and draw a line through the middle of all these dots, a line that best represented and minimized the distance between all the dots in that line. We call that a line of regression or line of best fit. Would that line be pointing up or down or would it be perfectly horizontal or vertical or whatever? Let's say we're not too sure. In this case, we can kind of see an upward trend, but we're still not sure. Let's add a regression line to it. So uh, we're going to click on add a chart element. Uh, trend line right here, and it gives us a few options. Linear, exponential, we're going to worry about these a later, later time, possibly another class. For now, just click linear. We'll just choose that one. So it's basically saying, assuming the line's going to be straight, what will it look like? And as you can see, it's going up a little bit. So what that means then is as the, uh, the x-axis increases, the y also increases. In other words, we make more money as we get older. So in some data sets, this line could be down and it would be the reverse. But we'll worry about examples of that later. For now, let's also add what we call a regression equation to this. So click on the line itself. See how that's selected now because I clicked on that. I'm going to right click and hit format trend line. It gives me some extra options over here. So scroll through these and you'll see down here set intercept. Um, and I can choose what I want to set that to and see how because it defaults to zero, it says let's set the intercept as though it's going to cross at zero, what direction would that line be in? We actually don't want this for this example. What I do want, though, is display equation on the chart. I'm going to click on this little thing that's appeared and move it up here where it's easy to see. So if you remember from uh, algebra or sometime in high school, whenever, this right here is our y equals mx plus b formula. So m, 6e to the negative, or uh, let's see here, to the negative 0.05. Can I make that bigger? No, it looks like I can't. Basically, it means this number here is uh, very, very small. So this, uh, the decimal will come after the six and move out one, two, three, four, five points. It's moving up very slowly. Uh, and then plus B, 40, this is our intercept. So the line crosses at 40.722. As you see, this extends out. That's right about where it crosses there. So one more thing we can add to this is I click on the trend line again that I like is display R squared value on the chart. Now, you may not know what this is yet. We haven't gone to it in the chapter so far, but you'll learn about this a little later on. So I'm just gonna show you that it can be added right there and we'll talk about that a bit later. 